Hey, the man I help you. Are you the operator? I'm long distance, sir. Overseas, may I help you? Directory assistance, may I help you, please? Go ahead, San Francisco. Long distance. May I help you? Yeah, um, I want to call uh, area code 212. Mm-hmm. Uh, 222-2565. Thank you. But, but I want to charge it to another number. Uh, 212-243-2806. Thank you. Uh, listen, operator, um, this is a very private call now. You're, you're not going to be listening, are you? I mean, well, I won't even be on the line, sir, while the number just been... You're, you're going to get off the line as soon as I, I get the party, right? Right. There won't be no one on the line. Okay. That's the line ringing now. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello. Can I help you? Yeah, operator, uh, where's the nearest telephone? <clears throat> You're speaking from the nearest telephone, sir. Oh. I'm in the Manhattan directory. I'm sorry, I don't show anything listed under the name. Little L-I-T-T-L-E, Egypt. Who are you calling, Pam? Okay, we're calling Gail Stone. First name is Golf, Alpha, India, Lima. Second word, Sierra, Tango, Oscar, November, Echo. Operator? I want two chicken salad sandwiches, two large milks. Do you have any donuts? Uh, Ma'am, this, this is a long distance operator. Oh, I'm sorry, she's going to call for lunch and then call long distance. Okay, fine. I've got too much on my mind. 212 area code. You can dial a long distance direct, ma'am, and save quite a bit of money rather than going to an operator. Oh, okay. Just dial 212 on the number. Oh, okay. Thanks Thank a lot. Chicken salad sandwich. Yes. Uh, pardon, may I help you? Yes. I want to talk to my grandma. Do you have her number? I don't, I don't know what it is. Okay, you hang up and have your mother help you. Some days are good, some days are bad, depending on the customer and the rate of calls received per day. What city would it be in? Argentina. Yes, so that's the country. What city? My hours are very good because I'm able to get up in the morning, go to school, still be able to come home and um, do my things, sell my clothes and design them and, and get off early enough at 10.30 to go out and... Uh, um, do some things, too. Uh, sometimes the phone rings, you know, in my own house, and I go directory assistance. My father sneezes, and I go directory assistance. No, but it, it helps you at home, too, because, like, when I look for a number now, when I have to get a number, I call them up, and, like, I know the right information to give them. Credit card numbers are, as in default, 404-4044-444. Are you reading from your credit card, sir? Uh, no, no, I was given this card by, by this, this, uh, cat, uh, Well, do you have the card with you? No, I don't. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't accept that on a credit card basis. Oh, you mean like it's the wrong card or something? Oh, well, it's not acceptable, sir. Really? Really. What kind of line is this? It's giving an echo on my voice. Uh, well, sir, this is a satellite circuit. 
Uh, can't you put me through on a direct wire? Well, sir, I'm sorry. This is the only type of circuit we have available. The only type of satellite? Yes, sir. Is this going to cost extra and that's been bounced off a of satellite? Or no, sir. It is the same rate. $12 what? for the first three minutes. Yeah. And $4 for each additional minute plus tax. And there's no charge until you're connected with Mr. Bland in okay. Taiwan. I should hope not. I love any kind of talking. I could talk all day about nothing. So I guess the best kind of work would be being a telephone operator. Sometimes I get tired of talking, but very rarely. Of course, you have to be patient, too, because you have to realize that these people can't understand you just as you can't understand them. Yes, could you tell me if you have a Herman Fitz registered there? Herman Fitz. Fitz, that's F as in Frank, I, T, Z as in Zebra. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? How can I spell the name, please? Yes, her last name is spelled F. Franklin I. Isaac. Hello? Yes. Oh, Excuse me? Would you spell Ikatsi for, please? Yes, it's F-I-T-Z. There's a lot of satisfaction in helping the people. You'd be amazed at the number of people who really need help when they're placing a call. Yes, the number is 288... 388. person it makes me more understanding when I come in in the morning and I sit down I get a customer who's very rude or very nasty I can think to myself well maybe he's had a hard day or maybe he has a problem I don't understand so I'll just try to be as nice and sweet as I can and serve him the best I can it's very it's a very strange feeling operating when I'm operating and dealing with people I'm much more self-assured I mean, it's humorous because these people call up and you can't understand what they're saying and they spew off these really long names and expect you to spell the whole thing on the first crack and it's practically impossible. Operator? I want to call person to person the Karlheim Finkensieper. F-I-N-K-E-N-S-I-E-P-E-R and the number is area code 212-867-1066. Thank you. Just a moment, sir. Please hurry. I'm in a big hurry. May I have his number again, please? F-I-N-K-A-N-S-I-E-P-E-L. People at their place of business, they tend to, um, not overwork the operator, but rush right through with the details and so forth, like the operator's a machine. And this is, I think that what really, it makes the person nervous, first of all, because you, you're afraid, especially when you're just coming out of training, that they're not getting all the details fast enough, and then when they come, uh, then when the uh, customer asks you to repeat it, I mean, you ask the customer to repeat it, you're really kind of fighting of what he might say. You, you're really fighting to ask him really to repeat it. I guess mostly yeah, it's the customer that really upsets the operator. <laughs> okay, is there any type of special address that you have this for this other than Mr. Lyons at the zoo? No. No, I don't have an address. He doesn't have one. <laughs> Hello? You people are so inefficient. It's always the same thing, over and over and over again. I'm really in a hurry. Couldn't you um, try to get this done a little faster? No, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to wait for the operator to give me the number. 
398-9998. Thank you so much. Would you care to make a note of that number, ma'am? Um, no, I don't care to make a note. <laughs> Customers like that, some of them will be, make you feel good by not being angry, and some will just be angry. Nice customers, it, it requires no, no special talent to deal with them, but w the ones that are really upset and angry, um, I especially like to deal with. It keeps you sharp. That ain't the number. Well, sir, that's definitely the number. What? That is definitely the number. That ain't the number that I, that I asked you for. One moment, I'll give you my service assistant. What the hell is the matter? I'll give you my that service assistant. One moment, please. And this type of a customer can distract you and make you feel, well, what am I knocking my brains out for? But I don't get discouraged because there's a lot more. Most of the majority, they're very nice and very understanding, and they do appreciate us. Well, it's nice to hear a friendly voice. It's been such a terrible day. Everybody's been mean to me all oh. day. <laughs> uh, New York City for the Museum of Modern Art. Well, every once in a while, I get really nice people. And those are the people that make up for the really lousy ones. Yeah, you know, because I guess, you know, you sort of often wonder, you know, what an operator's like. Uh, you know, I just hear a voice. Do you ever get feelings about customers? I mean, I mean, like somebody calls and you feel he's nice or he's uh, unpleasant or something? We have that feeling. Huh? We have that feeling. As we have yours. <laughs> Some customers are very nice. I get a lot of good people that I like talking to. It's really nice when, um... Um, so insist, thank you. Good afternoon. I'll collect call from Ray. Will you start charging? Who? Ray. Ray? You really have a sexy voice.